Welcome to the Spotlight video for the Bank Reconciliation feature, which was introduced in PeopleSoft Image 18. This video discusses the following topics. An overview of Bank Reconciliation features and functionality. Setting up Bank Reconciliation rules. Parsing addenda on Bank Statements. Reconciling Bank Statements. And additional resources. Bank reconciliation for PeopleSoft Treasury involves comparing and matching your recorded business transactions with your bank's corresponding transactions. The bank reconciliation feature helps maximize match rates and minimize manual user intervention, as well as reduce customizations. While PeopleSoft provides different methods to reconcile balances, this video focuses on functionality related to automatic bank reconciliation, which you can use if you receive bank statement files electronically. The Bank Reconciliation feature provides easy-to-configure reconciliation rules and delivered support for transaction sources. Users can Reconcile multiple bank statement lines with multiple transaction lines Reconcile transactions to bank statement lines using parsed addenda information and migrate reconciliation rules across environments using application datasets. The Bank Reconciliation feature leverages the security functionality in Financial Gateway for Bank Reconciliation and Bank Account Pages. Setting up Bank Reconciliation Before you can initiate bank reconciliation processing, you must define reconciliation tolerances, specify reconciliation rules, run the reconciliation SQL process, and associate reconciliation rules with bank accounts. Use the Reconciliation Tolerance page to define date and monetary reconciliation tolerances to associate with the reconciliation rule. The reconciliation tolerances shown here are delivered as system-defined tolerances and cannot be deleted. If you need to add tolerances, click the Add button and enter details for each row. Set date tolerances using the Day Tolerance grid. You must populate the following fields with values. Rule ID, Day Tolerance, lower day limit, and upper day limit. Set monetary tolerances using the monetary tolerance grid. You must populate the following fields with values. Rule ID, monetary tolerance, you can choose amount or percent, lower amount limit and upper amount limit, or lower percent limit and upper percent limit. As the second step to setting up bank reconciliation, you need to add reconciliation rules to associate with tolerances. To review PeopleSoft delivered rules and identify the ones that meet your business needs, access the Reconciliation Rules component. Using this component, you can review, update, or add reconciliation rules for each individual transaction source. You can also run the delivered query, Bank Recon Rules, to review the aggregation criteria, match criteria, and filter criteria for each rule. This is the Reconciliation Rules page. This example shows rules for external transactions with a one-to-one -one reconciliation of statement to transaction lines. Reconciliation rules allow you to identify reconciliation source, reconciliation type, grouping criteria for statement lines, grouping criteria for transaction lines, and matching criteria. These fields and grids are discussed in more detail next. Depending on the reconciliation type, you select different grouping criteria for statement lines and transaction lines. The different reconciliation types include one-to-one, -one, which is used to find matches between one statement line and one transaction line, one-to-many, which is used to aggregate multiple transaction lines and find matches with an individual statement line, many-to-one, which is used to aggregate multiple statement lines and find matches with an individual transaction line, and many-to-many, -many, which is used to aggregate multiple statement lines and aggregate multiple transaction lines and find matches. When you aggregate statement lines using the Group Statement Lines grid, do not include the Amount field. For one-to-one -one and one-to-many rules, group using these fields Bank Account Number, Bank ID Number, Statement ID, Record Sequence Number, and Value Date. For many-to-one and many-to-many -many rules, group using these fields Bank Account Number, Bank ID Number, Statement ID, and Value Date. You can add additional grouping fields as needed. When you aggregate transaction lines using the Group Transaction Lines grid, do not include the Amount field. For one-to-one -one and one-to-many rules, include key fields on transaction tables, Bank ID Number, Bank Account Number, and Transaction Date. For many-to-one and many-to-many -many rules, include the following fields, Bank ID, 
bank account number, and transaction date, you can add additional grouping criteria for each source as needed. Bear in mind that the transaction field alias may vary by reconciliation source. Next, add match criteria using the match criteria grid. Only match using criteria that has been used to group statement lines and transaction lines. For all rules, match bank ID number, bank account number, and date, then add additional match criteria for each rule as needed. You can attach documents to each rule using the attachments link. Click the filter criteria link to access the recon filter criteria page and add filter criteria for statement lines and transaction lines. Note that each time you add, modify, or delete filter criteria with reconciliation rules, run reconciliation rules SQL processing. As the third step to setting up bank reconciliation, use the Create Reconciliation SQL page to run reconciliation rules SQL processing for an individual source and the specified rule within the source. Reconciliation rules SQL processing evaluates the source and reconciliation rules to build and store the filter SQL. As the final step to setting up bank reconciliation, associate reconciliation rules by source to a bank account using the Bank Account Reconciliation Rules page. The automatic bank reconciliation process, Bank Recon, uses these rules to reconcile bank statement lines with transaction lines. To associate bank reconciliation rules with bank accounts, select a source and identify a sequence number to determine the order in which reconciliation source should be processed. Please note that when assigning the reconciliation source for a bank and bank account, you can configure either receivables deposits or receivables payments, but not both at the same time. Next, enter amount and date tolerance exceptions that should be applied to reconciliation exceptions. Add a holiday list if you would like the system to consider only business days when applying date tolerance. For each reconciliation rule, enter the sequence, reconciliation rules ID, date tolerance, amount tolerance, and accounting template ID. Add a holiday list if you would like the system to consider only business days when applying date tolerance. Deselect the Use Rate Table option to use the exchange rate populated at the transaction level. This option is available only for payables, receivables deposits, and receivables payments reconciliation sources. For other sources, this option is display only and the market rate table is used by default. Parsing Addenda on Bank Statements The Data Export Import utility is used to extract information from addenda on a bank statement by breaking down the unstructured addenda information into its component parts and storing it in a structured format. This information can then be used to help find matches between bank transactions and system transactions using addenda information. The import utility uses PeopleSoft delivered source and target documents for parsing addenda. The data export import utility allows users to configure transformations through an online mapping component. Bank reconciliation rules can then be configured to use the parsed addenda information to more effectively reconcile bank statement lines. Please note, parsing addenda is an optional feature and can be used if relevant information is provided by a bank and addenda. Also, users should be familiar with PeopleSoft document technology as well as data export import utility map definitions and document relationships before parsing bank statement addenda. To extract information from bank statement addenda for reconciliation purposes, create a map definition to parse addenda, associate map definition with bank account, test map definitions, then run the addenda parsing process. Each step is discussed in more detail next. Create a map definition to parse addenda using the data export import utility map definition component. This component includes guided steps for map, source, target, detail, and filter definitions. Begin by copying the delivered map definition bank recon pd map on the map page. This map definition includes mapping between the source record and the target record bank addend table. All map definitions for addenda parsing must have the active option selected and owner set to FTR which represents treasury. Next, specify source and target documents using the source and target pages. PeopleSoft provides source documents and target documents as well as sample map definitions for parsing addenda on previous day bank statements and current day bank statements. Next, use the details page to populate the transformation attributes that are relevant for parsing addenda information. The data export import utility is a generic tool that supports many different transformations. Some delivered transformations may not be relevant for parsing the addenda. Transformations relevant to parsing addenda information include extract, pattern, code mapping, and complex. 
Use the extract transform type to extract a substring beginning and ending with a specified location in the string. Processing applies this transform type to all statement lines identified at runtime during addenda parsing. Use the pattern transform type to extract a substring with a pattern. The wildcard character, at symbol, is added to the pattern to identify the length of the entire string to including the output. The data export import utility processing applies this transform type to all statement lines at runtime during addenda parsing. You can also use a variation of the pattern transformation type by specifying a match value. When you use this transformation type and pattern, the data export import utility will only extract addenda if it finds a matching value. Use the code mapping transform type to map parsed addenda values to a system value for each reference field. Note the code map group and mapping name fields. This information is defined on the code mappings page. Use the code mappings page to populate additional reference fields with internal PeopleSoft codes. Configure the input and output values and use the code map group on the map definition. Analyze the impact of transformation properties on the map definition whenever you change the input values on code mappings associated with addenda parsing. Use the complex transform type to define a series of transformation actions that are executed when specified conditions are met. The complex transform type allows users to specify criteria and also apply transformations using runtime variables. We'll provide three examples using the complex transform type. In this first example, the complex transformation rule extracts addenda values in position 10 to 16 for statement lines that have bank statement code 475 and pads with 0 on the left to return 8 character strings. In the second example, the complex transformation rule extracts addenda values in position 17 to 24 for all statement lines and substitutes them with corresponding internal PeopleSoft codes. In the third example, the complex transformation rule looks for statement lines that match the filter criteria and extracts addenda values that match a pattern. Next, use the filter page of the map definition to specify bank ID, bank account number, and statement ID filter conditions. For the next step in parsing addenda on bank statements, we must associate a specific map ID with one or more bank accounts. To do so, use the Assign Addenda Parse ID page. We'll provide four sample methods you can use to associate a map ID with bank accounts. In this example, if we do not want to configure addenda parsing, we leave the default grid row unpopulated. In the second example, if you intend to use one map definition for all bank accounts, populate the default grid row with the map ID. In the third example, if you intend to use one map definition for all bank accounts associated with a single bank, add a row in the grid, specify the bank, and populate the map ID. In the final example, if you intend to use a map definition for a specific bank account, add a row to the grid, specify the bank account, and enter the map ID. Note that the parse ID processes all bank accounts for US Bank and individual bank account for TR Bank. For the final step in parsing addenda on bank statements, we must run the addenda parsing process. However, PeopleSoft recommends configuring and validating parsing rules in a test database before moving them into production. This diagram shows a high-level overview of the addenda parsing process. After the process is complete, it populates the bank addend table for addenda extracted from previous day statement lines. Use the parse statement addenda run control page to run the addenda parsing process. The process for parsing addenda only looks at unreconciled statements and statements with a status of NTF, or not found in the system. Reconciling Bank Statements To reconcile bank statements, test bank reconciliation rules, then deploy your map definitions and reconciliation rules to a production environment. Last, run the bank reconciliation process. Before running the bank reconciliation process, PeopleSoft recommends configuring reconciliation rules in a test database validating the rules, and then moving them into a production environment. After testing bank reconciliation rules, you can use application dataset definitions to migrate the bank reconciliation rules to a production environment. PeopleSoft delivers two application dataset definitions to migrate your rule data, TR Bank Recon Rule for bank reconciliation rules, and TR Bank Account Recon Rule for bank reconciliation rules associated with bank accounts. Note the records included in each definition. It should also be noted that PeopleSoft provides application dataset definitions to migrate map definitions in image 19. If your system is on image 18 or prior, you must use data mover scripts to move map IDs into a production environment. 
before migrating reconciliation rules associated with the bank account, ensure that the bank account is defined in the target environment. Use the automatic reconciliation page to run the bank reconciliation process. You can also use the process reconciliation run control page to run the same process. Additional resources. To view additional information about this feature, see online help for bank setup and processing and people tools lifecycle management guide.